Hey guys, welcome to Decidedly Neapolitan. I um, wanted to start out here by the by the old deer farm. As you can see, it's a little bit different. They were uh, they were really glitching through the uh, fence, so I decided to. Well, hey you, see that couple of them got out. Hey, let's let's breed these guys up. We'll make a we're going to create a wild herd of deer here to run around the place. So you guys do your thing. So yeah, they um they kept glitching through the through the fence. It was kind of a real pain. Now they still they still want to glitch through the wall, but they're I think they're tall enough where they don't suffocate. At least I haven't really seen any problems with them suffocating at this point. Now this is uh it does have a slab on top of it. It's just one block high, but with the slab they cannot get out. So. So I just been breeding these. If you guys, if you get down in here, you won't be able to get out because I don't have anything to, you know, to pop up like that. So, did you see that baby? He walked all the way around and jumped in here. That's weird. Um, so you'll need a you'll need some wings or or something in order to get out. So, but I think just about everybody's got wings nowadays. And of course, I'm sporting my wings too. Now. I made those myself, believe it or not, even though, look at him, what are you doing? Look at him. He's just like cruising on top of the, ah, crazy, crazy I say. Um, I'll check that out. Pink daffodil. I got that somewhere. I don't remember where I got it from. I did not steal it from Town Hall either. The one in Town Hall is still over there. So. I was over in the Twilight Forest, uh, fell into one of those um, hollow hills accidentally. I was looking at it. It's the one by my treehouse. I was looking at it and I was thinking I was going to set up a place because I wanted to um, I wanted to do a video on assaulting one of those because they're like a CTM map almost. Well, I fell down in there and so I ended up, went ahead and just went through it. I did not record it. <clears throat> um, and the same with the Naga. Um, I went ahead and killed the Naga but I did not record it and uh, this guy uh, he's he's a wuss so it really wasn't worth recording to be honest uh, but I may if I come across another one I may uh, I may record it just to show you but all I did was my this uh, I've got a power two bow with flame one I just I had my jet pack and I just basically just you know, shot him with the bow, and when he came after me, I flew up in the air, and went back down, shot him with the bow. It was it was pretty boring. <laughs> there really wasn't much to it. Uh, but I did find an uncrafting table in the in that hollow hill, and uh, uh, yeah. So what you do is is you uh, stick something in there. I like the shiny pickaxe here. You stick it in there, and see what happens. See, it takes to to uh, uncraft this. It it costs me three levels, and you get back the materials now if it's already damaged then see you only you don't get back everything so it's pretty pretty cool but it does seem to take about three levels per item that seems to be what the what the case is and you notice I have 32 levels here because I uh, that's basically just from gathering resources out of that hollow hill so I'm gonna store all that in my tank here This is early, early in the morning, and uh, uh, drinking my coffee. So yeah, this thing's just uh, look at all this stuff. Now we need this. We're gonna take this with us here because I want to show you what I've done. There's that. Okay, we we'll get. What are the extras that we got? Tons of sulfur. You get the sulfur from pulverizing the coal. Ferrous metal. Oh, that's good. And uh, pulverized silver. You need that ferrous to make. Uh, what is it? To make the invar. Is it the invar? Yeah, invar. Oh no, that's iron and nickel. What? No, that ain't right. Dust nickel. Yeah, that's not. That's not right. It's not nickel. Where nickel? No, it's it's uh what? 
Why does it say nickel? It's not nickel. I'm pretty sure it's ferrous. Yeah, pulverized ferrous metal. But that's weird. It says nickel on there. I, I didn't. I did not notice that before. Okay, so ferrous then is equivalent to nickel. In uh, what? I forget which mod has nickel in it. Um, because I don't think there's any nickel in the mods that we have, the mods that we have so far. See this guy over here? They, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting mobs spawning down here, but I don't know where they are spawning. This is all carpenter's blocks. Oh. So where are they spawning? Okay, they're spawning over here somewhere. I got F7 on. Boy, see, they're not spawning on top of there. So they must be jumping down here somehow. But where? Where are they jumping down from? So this is my... Uh, I showed you this last episode. This is my... Uh, ouch. They have to be coming down from here. But how are they getting down here? There must be a way for them to get over this fence. Well, they can spawn here, right? But I've got the fence. How, how, do, how are they getting over the fence? I don't get it. Somehow they're getting over the fence, I guess. Hmm. It's a puzzler, but I, I'm just going to have to block this whole area off, I guess. All the way down. Yeah. Because I'm getting them spawning down there. and I just don't... I can't figure out where they're coming from. I need to put a pressure plate there. Yeah, I get, I'm getting a good yield on my... Uh, my berry bushes there so it's pretty cool alrighty guys well you remember last episode I uh, let me take a sip of coffee here oh that's good mm. last episode I kind of set up a system it was pathetic it really was honestly I mean honestly it was pathetic it was terrible so I, I just tore the whole thing out and redid it so you can probably guess what this is about but look at this, four geothermal generators. Now, each one of these guys produce, uh, let's see, what can I, yeah, right there. See, each one of these guys produce uh, 24,000 uh, EU, electrical units. So I've got four of them. So each one's producing 24,000, just, just shy of 24,000. And then I've got a bat box, which holds 40,000. So I am producing a boatload of EU. And this is all, we'll get to this in a second here. This is all basically being powered by my patented lava generation system here. So look how clean and look how clean and tidy this thing is. Look at this. Now this thing, look at the amount of RF we're generating, 38,400. Now that is, I believe, the total amount that that RF is holding at the moment. Now the magma crucible holds 600,000. So basically I found out that you need five magma crucibles in order to set up for a hardened, uh, I'm sorry, uh, dynamos. You need five dynamos, magma dynamos, to basically create a self-sustaining system for, the, for a hardened uh, magma crucible. And I've got seven on here. The, the other two basically are just to generate extra overflow power so that I can uh, divert the, the um, lava into my geothermal generators here. Now, I've had some questions on, on this, you know, about how the system works and why I'm using this particular system. And I'm going to do a separate video uh, I'm going to do a DN extra. And it's going to be a separate video, and I'm going to ex go over this system in depth and and explain to you the rationale behind the system and why I'm using it and why I think, given the constraints of the mod pack that we have, because you know we've only got a handful of mods. I mean, well, there's 60 of them, but I mean, it, 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 we're we're really basically working with IC2 and and thermal expansion. Are they are the two? Besides Tinkers, which is tool-based, you know, the two industrial mods are these two mods, and basically you have to work within the constraints of the mod. So 
After looking at it, this is kind of the system I've came up with. Now, all of the dynamos produce the same amount of energy. They all produce 60 ticks per second as an output, and they all hold about 40,000 RF. So it isn't, you know, it isn't the dynamos really that are the issue. In other words, you know, getting a different dynamo produces more power. They all produce the, about the same amount of power, but they're all powered differently. In other words, they all use fuel differently. So this is kind of the system that I've hit upon. And, um, and I'll go over that. I'm going to do an in-depth video on that in a DNX. So look for that. That'll be out sometime after this video here. Okay, so what have I got going here? Well, this right here turns on the lava generation, just like upstairs. So, just turns it on. I've got it set to our, uh, enabled high. The redstone is enabled high. And this will gener basically generate uh, uh, lava for these guys right here. So we're going to be generating lava for those guys and, and to power this. Um, this is a metal former and you need this in order to make the, uh, what are they? The, uh, casings, They're, what are they called? These guys here, empty cells. You need the empty cells for the thermal, for these guys. And then, uh, this is my extractor, which is what I put, uh, which is what I use to make these guys, make the thing. Uh, if you have the resin, you put resin in here it'll generate three rubber or if you put one rubber log in here it'll generate one rubber and this is the compressor and this you can see I've got my redstone engine going here this this is an auto workbench I've got flint and pulverized coal and basically what you do is you put your pulverized coal in here now this is a preset re recipe so what you do on these uh, auto workbenches is basically you put in a preset recipe here and what it's going to do is going to produce this coal ball here now it takes uh, one flint and eight pulverized coal and I pulverize coal upstairs in the um, in my pulverizer up there the coal ball goes uh, gets compressed and gets compressed into a um, what is it? Compressed cobalt? Is that what it's called? I forget. Well, have to take a look at it. It went too quick. So the redstone, uh, they, I've got a wooden transport pipe which pulls it out. And it's slow, but it doesn't need to be fast because these guys don't, you can see it takes, it takes time in order to, to generate those. Oh, and you get the uh, flint, you can get flint from pulverizing gravel. And you can get gravel from pulverizing uh, nether rack. So, so what we what happens is, you get a compressed cobalt, and when I get eight of those, which is going to take a few minutes, when you get eight of those, you get this guy here, a coal chunk. And when you get the coal chunk, guess what you get? Guess what you get? You get a diamond. So I've got six, and it's this takes an obsidian, which I can generate through my, uh, 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 what's it called, the extruder, uh, the extruder guy upstairs, the um, igneous extruder. The igneous extruder will generate uh, obsidian. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Here it comes. Here it comes. One more. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. This is fun. This is great. Okay. Cold chunk. <gasps> Cold chunk. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Well, we know what we're going to get. <laughs> there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we got diamonds. That is right. The diamond manufacturing system is now online. You betcha. Oh, I'll tell you. This is, look at this thing. It's just like, it's just 
chunk it away. It's hardly even doing it. In fact, I don't even think I need to turn that guy on right now. We'll see. I want to I want to see what the power drain is on this without the lava generation going. Because I've got the bat box here. And it's, I mean, it's barely even moving. Look at this. And these guys, they're, they're barely even ticking. They hold 800 buckets. Or no, I'm sorry, 8,000. 8,000 buckets. An MB is one bucket. One MB is one bucket. So, yeah, guys, so I got my uh, lava generation system going here. Now, or la not lava, uh, diamond manufacturing system going here now. So, yeah, it's slow, though. It doesn't take, it takes a while. But, Okay, so we generated one diamond in what, maybe a couple minutes? So yeah, it takes so about every couple minutes we'll have a, well, I think we'll, we'll have a diamond. Every two or three minutes or so, we'll, bet we'll basically have a diamond. But the thing about it is you just, you just get it going and it just goes, you know? I mean, that's, you know, it just goes. These auto workbenches are really cool. I really like them. This is a uh, Buildcraft. The auto workbench is from Buildcraft. Now it takes one, as you can see, we've already gone through one stack of pulverized coal. And let's pull this guy out. So let's, uh, yeah, there we go. It basically, and I'm going to have to get some more flint here too. It, it basically takes one stack of coal to make one diamond. So, so we got another diamond. So what, one diamond and every, I don't know, I'd have to look at the video, but so we get basically one diamond every couple three minutes out of this guy right three or four minutes maybe whatever it's been haven't been very long really so uh yeah so yeah I'm, you know you're not going to get rich <laughs> i mean i'm not going to get rich doing this by any means at all because you know it takes i mean if you have a fortune two or fortune three and you just you go mining for a couple hours you're going to get a a stack of diamonds I mean you know it's gonna be that easy to get diamonds especially if you go over to the Twilight Forest I mean that place Twilight Forest just has resources all over the place I mean you don't even you go down to one of the ravines I mean I I went into uh, a ravine over there to um, uh, get some coals basically what I was looking for and I ended up with uh, and I wasn't even looking for diamonds but I ended up with I had a my fortune two pick and I ended up with uh, you know a half stack of diamonds and and that was with you know that was maybe an hour's worth of mining and I, I was looking specifically for coal I wasn't really looking for um, uh, diamonds so but uh, yeah guys so auto workbench the uh, hopper pulls it out of the out of the auto workbench and drops it down into the compressor and then it gets pulled out of the compressor, goes into these build craft pipes, up into the second auto workbench where we have recipe number two, which then ends up uh, getting pulled out once this recipe is done. Uh, gets pulled out and ends up down here. Now, I don't know if there's a way to speed up the system, but it, honestly, it doesn't need to be any faster than what it is, really. I mean, it, it really doesn't, so... And how are these guys doing? Yeah, I mean, this thing is just producing. Oh, look at this. It's not even... This little system running with these two compressors here. And these guys aren't losing any power at all. Now, I could I could add overclockers here to uh, speed these guys up. But again, there's no reason to at this point, at least. Yeah. I mean, this thing is barely beeping. Look at this. Yeah, I'd say this four geothermal generators on this system is going to be definitely do it. Now, if Jeff comes over here, which I think Jeff's got already got his own system set up, uh, which is sad. I, I, I enjoyed having Jeff over at the place to power up his MFSU. But uh, anyways, you know, he's, he's he's moving on himself. What can I say, Mr. OP? That's what I called him the other day. He, when he had all of his stuff hooked up over here, I said, Jeff, you, you are definitely a techno mage. Because <laughs> he had all of his OP stuff on. It was pretty funny. But uh, yeah, now, now if we hooked up an MSFU to this system, then, you know, I don't know. 
you know, those things hold a ridiculous amount of EU. So, you know, I don't know how this would how this would work as far as powering that up. But I know that once you got the MSFU powered up, I mean, it holds what forty million EU or some ridiculous amount of power. Once you got it charged up, though, I mean, it would power everything. Basically, the MSFU is high voltage, though. So what you do is you you create an MSFU, but in order to use these machines, which are basically low voltage machines, although you can't upgrade, you can put in an upgrade here to accept medium voltage and high voltage, I believe. I believe there's a high voltage upgrade that you can get. Um, but you would just, you would do a, you do a step down transformer. In other words, you would, you would hook up your, for this system here, you would set up your MSFU and then you would do a medium or a low voltage transformer. And then from that, you would power these machines depending on how you how you have it set up but like I said you can upgrade these guys I think all the way up to high voltage so but uh, there we are guys we have our diamond manufacturing system up and running and guys if you need to you know if you run into a situation where you need a diamond in a pinch you know just um, get you a stack of coal um, run it through the pulverizer here you know and um, get you a stack of pulverized coal because it this will only work with the pulverized coal so throw throw the pulverized coal in here and just it'll let it you know it'll do its thing basically oh I'm out of, uh, I'm out of flint so uh, do I have any gravel I should have some in here because I was making gravel the other day. Yeah, there we go. So if you uh, put gravel in here, you get flint. So yeah, and then if you put uh, nether rack. You get the gravel so yeah so pretty cool pretty cool stuff guys so yeah I need so I'm gonna make some more flint uh, to power up my system here so so yeah and look how simple it is look how simple it is I mean that is that's a that is so simple it takes up a little bit of space and and you need the uh, redstone engine in order to power this guy but yeah this, so just in the, the few minutes that we've been chatting here, we generated four diamonds. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's, you know, don't really have to do anything for them. There we go. Six diamonds. We're in business. We're in business. So, all righty, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, oh and uh, uh, as you can see, I was going to point down there. See, as you can see, I've got a few more hearts. Uh, and let's see, where is it? Uh, got a couple more bags. So let's, I like, I like opening these on camera. So let's go ahead and do that. Just for, just for grins. We've got, got a couple minutes here. So we've got uh, uncommon and common. So, okay, so let's see what the uncommon does. Uh, seriously, gold coins, that's it. That's all we got. Oh my goodness. What I want is emeralds because if you look at the uses for emeralds, see if I can find it here. Uh, right here. Look at this. Biome radar. You can, this thing will, will, I'm guessing, I haven't looked it up yet. I'm going to look it up on the wiki, but it says biomes of plenty biome finder I think with the bi with the biome radar you can it'll show you the different biomes I I'm guessing I haven't I haven't tried it yet but I'm guessing that uh, if you want to find say a enchanted forest this will show you where it is I'm thinking that's what it is I don't know for sure I haven't looked it up but I saw it the other day it's like oh man I need four emeralds I need four emeralds. So I've got two. I need two more emeralds. Okay, let's see what we get here. Uh, oh, we got some gold. 
Oh, we got a uh, bottle O enchanting. Ooh, fire potion of fire resist. That's nice. And a gold ingot. Okay, let's see what this guy gives us. Oh, oh golden apple. That's awesome. And splash potion of what? A poison. Well, that ain't very useful. No emeralds. Darn it. Didn't get any emeralds. So, oh well. Maybe next time. So, yeah. So, there's some other things going on on server right now. Um, you can see I've got a ton of wood here. And that's for this. <laughs> because uh, I'm, I'm using charcoal for my torches and stuff. Because all the coal is going to go down into the diamond manufacturing system. Because uh, you can't use charcoal. It only takes coal. So, but there's some other things i got to show you. But, um, yeah, I mean, the guys are doing uh, videos on them and stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, next next episode. Next episode, you will see I've got four spawners here. I've got two of the skeleton, uh, druid skeletons. From the Twilight Forest. Now these guys drop um, gold hose and they drop uh, torch berries. Now torch berries you can use to make uh, torches. You actually get five torches from one torch berry. So that's actually a pretty decent drop. So that's what you get from these guys. These guys, the red caps, I got that out of the um, hollow hill I accidentally fell down into. There's two of these. These guys now these guys this is the one that I that I was surprised and happy to get because these guys drop coal and iron boots they drop iron boots and they drop coal I don't care about the iron boots all that much but I do care about the fact that they drop coal so yeah so now we have a renewable source of coal of course we've got the wither farm over there too but I've, I've now got a renewable source of coal for my diamond manufacturing system now how now how much how much i'm going to get is an open question probably not that much you know uh but you know it's renewable now so so basically i've got coal a steady source of of coal now and so next episode i'm going to set up so this will be this is my ict ict level but one more level down and we're going to set up a little mob mob farm and we're going to put i'm going to put these guys together it's going they're going to be in the same mob farm <clears throat> so i'll get both uh both drops out of the same thing and uh yeah so that's going to happen next episode now the dn extra is going to be coming on uh, i'll do that after i do this one so so look for that i'm not sure when how, how soon after this episode it will appear but it will be there afterwards so Anyways, guys, let's go back down there and just look at it one more time. Oh, oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I appreciate it, guys, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye-bye now.